Hey there, Fudge fam, and welcome to Field Trip Friday. Now, we went on so many field trips when we were in Florida, but in today's video, I'm gonna share with you our absolute most favorite field trip of them all. When we came to Florida, I had two things on our must-do list. Of course, I wanted to visit our favorite mouse, but I also really wanted to see live alligators. And there's no better place in Florida to see live gators than Gatorland, AKA the alligator capital of the world. And of course, when we get back home, I also have a fun and easy lunch idea to share with you. Now, before we get started, I wanna give a big thanks to Gatorland for inviting us out. We had the most amazing tour guide while we were there and he really helped us learn a lot about alligators. Like, did you know that Gatorland is Orlando's oldest attraction and they're about to celebrate their 70th anniversary? That's right, they were there before Disney. We started our day off by getting to meet some of Gatorland's smallest alligators. I actually got to hold them. I don't know, would you guys hold a baby alligator or would you be too afraid? Next, we got to do something totally unexpected and kind of terrifying, and that was feeding live gators. And these were not baby alligators, these were huge. Now we did have our guide to make sure we stayed safe, so I was thankful for that, but I was a little bit nervous. All the kids got to feed the alligators and they were totally into it. We also got to experience one of Gatorland's newest attraction, the Stompin' Gator Off-Road Adventure. So we loaded up on these huge, huge monster-like trucks and we buckled in for a very wild but funny ride. Now, of course, we got to see lots and lots of alligators of all different sizes. We even got to see some crocodiles too. But one of the most amazing things was getting to see the white alligators. These gators are huge and extremely rare. And with the help of our guide, we got an extra, extra close view. Now that brings us to the craziest adventure that we did while we were there. Well, actually I didn't do it, but the rest of the family did and they were so brave. They suited up in their gear and went zip lining. But not just any zip line, this one was actually passing over the alligator breeding marsh. That's right, alligators are below you as you're zipping through. Even little Griffin, who's only two years old, was brave enough to go on this ride. It was very nerve wracking for me, but he really liked it. All the kids did. No. There she goes. Oh, there she goes. Go, Lily. <laughs> There he goes. Yeah. Go Griffin! You're doing it! Yay! Woohoo! I liked it. It was real fun. You were so brave. <gasps> What'd you think, Lily? I loved it and Baby loved it too. Did he? He thought he was flying. Okay. Oh, you were like Superman. That yeah. Was awesome, huh? I was walking. You were um, 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 <laughs> Who's ready to go again? Do it again. <laughs> Now there was actually a lot more to experience here, but we definitely wanted to make sure to try out some snacks before we headed home. So the kids got to try gator nuggets. Now I've heard that these tasted just like chicken, but they weren't the kids' favorite, but I was glad that we got to try them anyway. We all had a blast at Gatorland. I highly recommend you check this place out. It's really affordable and great for the entire family. 
And now it's time for the special alligator themed lunch. Now before we left Gatorland, I found this adorable alligator lunch box at the gift shop. So it's gonna be perfect for today's lunch. And I think instead of starting with the main course, I'm actually gonna start with the dessert first. For this, I'm using some Nutter Butter Cookies. Now these are perfect because they kind of already have an alligator-like pattern on the outside of them. So all I'm gonna do is melt some of these green candy melts. Doesn't take very long at all to melt these up. Then I'm going to dip the cookie all the way in the green chocolate. And as you can see, it's already looking like an alligator. Now, normally I would set these on some wax paper, but I'm all out, so a plate will have to do. Now, before this chocolate hardens, I'm also gonna add some eyes. I have my little case of eyes. <laughs> these are edible candy eyes, and I have lots of different shapes and sizes. I'm gonna make some of these have big eyes and some will have small. Next, I'm gonna add two mini chocolate chips for the nose holes of the alligator. Then lastly, I'm gonna take a little bit of melted white chocolate and I'm gonna add some sharp teeth to our alligator. These came out so cute, I know the kids are going to love them. The next thing I'm gonna make for our lunch is some guacamole, also known as gator guac. <laughs> Isn't that cute? So for this, I'm just making my regular guacamole recipe. Then I'm actually gonna serve the guacamole in half of the avocado skin, which kind of resembles alligator skin. This avocado skin is gonna act as the bowl. And then I'm gonna add a few more things to make it look more gator-like. I'm gonna add some eyes using cucumbers and more candy eyes. And then I'm also gonna add some carrot sticks for his teeth. I'm gonna put him right down in the lunch box. And I'm gonna serve this with some tortilla chips for dipping. I know my kids will love this. They all love guacamole so much, especially Griffin. So in go our tortilla chips. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and add a hard boiled egg. Now alligator eggs are white, but to make this a little bit more colorful, I went ahead and dyed this one green. Next for some fruits and vegetables, I found the biggest cucumbers I could possibly find, which kind of look like alligators already with the green bumpy skin. And I'm going to use this really cute alligator cookie cutter I found on Amazon to cut them out. Now I have to say this was a little bit tricky to do, but I totally made it work. And I went ahead and added some little eyes in there to make them even better. Next to go along with our green gator theme, I'm also gonna add some green grapes. And I'm adding our grapes to these alligator picks I found on Amazon, which are so cute in today's lunch. I love them. And then last but not least for our special drink today, I definitely had to go with Gatorade, the perfect drink for an alligator themed lunch. And it's green, so it's perfect. And there you have it, you guys, our gator themed lunch and our gator themed field trip. We had so much fun at Gatorland. I can't wait to go back. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching and we will see you later, alligator.